What's up guys? So, it's a cold day at the Auto Shop Life. Got that uh, negative 20 degree weather today. Not much happening around the shop. Finished up, uh, finished up a couple of jobs I had from yesterday. Uh, had a couple canceled appointments. I'm probably not gonna hang out here much longer. It's uh, getting to be about lunchtime. But I figure I'm gonna shoot a quick one. We're gonna get some work done on the, uh, the Equinox motor. I got the, uh, I got the kit in. Here, it showed up. I got the head gasket, timing cover gasket, valve cover gasket, um, pretty much all the gaskets in that kit. I got the uh, valves came in. Got ended up going with the uh, Melling valves brand, but uh, got all the uh, intake ones, all the exhaust ones. So most of the parts are here. We're gonna do a quick valve lapping job. Let's check it out right after this. So catch you up to speed. This is what the head turned out looking like after a whole lot of cleaning. Uh, definitely looks good. These seats look great. No pitting, no scratches. I just went at it with a wire brush and the gum cutter right there. Got all the parts sitting here. Still got to clean all the cams up, clean all this stuff off. Dust on there from sitting up here a few days. but. Got the valve lapping tools out, some compound, and I'm probably gonna knock out, uh, you can see I stuck one in here just to make sure. Just to make sure uh, they fit and went in good. They actually seat pretty well, just dropping them in. The machining on these valves are nice. I like this company. It's not like I buy valves all the time, but uh, they do pretty good machining work. They look good to me. So I got everything set up. We're just gonna maybe speed through this a little bit, do a time lapse here. I'll knock out these first eight on my side. I always like them facing away from me because I get a better spin action to show you kind of my technique that I use. Um, kind of been a minute since I did a valve job on a head, in-house at least, but I think this is the best way to go at it. And then I'm just using some uh, the Watermex Permatex stuff, valve grinding compound. So. Let me get some of these valves out of the box here, get set up, and we'll knock this out. All right, guys. So what I like to do is I got a little acid brush here, and sometimes you get this uh, compound in a, in a squeeze tube, but this one, that other stuff I had was kind of old, so I just bought a new one, and this one came in a tub. But that's what it looks like. You can see the grit in there. But my plan of attack here is obviously... Uh, you know, get them on there, get them all cleaned up. I got a bunch of rags here. Clean off some of the machining oil on there. You always want to keep your uh, suction cup clean and the mating surfaces, because you always have an issue with these things sticking. But that one's on there pretty well. But what I want to do is just uh, get everything cleaned up and then maybe use the acid brush and then just kind of paint some uh, compound on there. And we'll go at this thing, kind of go all the way around. I don't have to go too crazy here because most of this stuff looks pretty good, but just want to marry these valves to where they're going, the cylinders they're going with. And then I got, I like to use some oil. I'm going to be changing the seals on these two, but just dip the end of it in some oil like that. That way when you drop it down in there, I'm not doing it dry. So drop it down in there like that and just give her a spin. Of course, it wants to slip off right away. You got to keep this clean. Just half the battle, guys. Just trying to keep this on here. There we go. Give it a couple pops.
Give it a wipe down. There we go, guys. I don't need to go too crazy with this. Like I said, these parts are new, but basically you just want to get them married to where they're going to be at. And then I just like to make sure they spin. Make sure they spin freely. All right, so I got one done, guys. You can see. I'm going to set up this box. So I keep them where they need to go. Now that this one's married to this cylinder, put it in there. Grab the next one. And we're going to fly through this, fighting, uh, fighting this thing falling off the whole time. That's probably the hardest part of it, is keeping this lapping tool on there. So we got the next one. You could see the difference there. You can see one's actually machined different, but that's that. Shut up and sit down. Alright, so I knocked out all the uh, exhaust valves. You can see, you know, we didn't have to go too crazy because they didn't look bad to begin with. You could kind of see the difference between the intake and the exhaust. You know, they got like a faded look to them now where the valve seat is. Had a heck of a time getting that valve tool, the lapping tool, to stay on these smaller valves. Um, plus it's newer so you know the suction cup hasn't broken in so now all these valves are pretty much married to the cylinder that's why I got this box cylinder number one two three and four so I'll flip this thing over and knock out the uh, intake valves alright guys here's one of the intake valves and these don't look as clean as the exhaust valves but you can see that angle there is where we're going to get it to seat. Probably have a heck of a time getting this one to stick on here too. Let's see what we got here. Some compound on there. Dipping in the oil.
right, so just running through a quick one. The, the, the hardest part of the, the valve lapping job is keeping that tool, you know, on the valve. You know, one little grain of lapping compound gets under there and it just wants to let loose. Especially those uh, intake valves. I noticed there are, you know, they weren't as smooth and there was just a barely a small ring around it. So it was hard keeping it on there. But, you know, you basically just want to uniform, give it a spin, you know, marry them to each other. You know, get a nice little clean surface, make sure there's nothing there. Those seats were pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough. You know, I'm not going to spend a super amount of time on it. You know, that probably took maybe 25 minutes or so. You know, it's get it done but real quick let's uh let's crack this uh these gaskets and stuff open and see what's in it all right guys so i ended up getting the company i ended up going with as far as the head gasket goes is mail i went with uh they make gaskets and uh you know head gaskets valve cover gaskets things like that but this one was like a full kit it came with uh it should have in there for us oh this thing should have in there for us the timing cover gasket the seals for the head and everything there's the part number to it cut this open Let's see what we got so we got here's Obviously valve cover gasket, we got the timing cover gasket here. Here's the intake gasket, the little cover for the water pump, inspection plate, throttle body. We got our seals in here, so we're gonna be changing out the seals for the head. And then I believe the head gasket's probably underneath here. There's our new head gasket there. So we got pretty much everything we need as far as getting this head back on there. Here's the motor, pretty much just cleaned it up a bit more. We got I ended up pulling the pan off of it and it's a good thing I did because I ended up finding those pieces in the pan. The little parts to the timing chain guide were at the bottom of it. So this is a murdered out one build. So I got spray painted the pan black, valve cover black, cleaned up the intake, pulled the throttle body off, got everything sitting up. These these things, these parts are ready to go here. And then uh the rest of the parts we're going to get off the old motor but that's what it looks like there all right guys so i'm going to wrap this one up as you can see that's just a quick going through how i do a valve lapping job on the head it's been a while but you know basically like i said you just want to stay uniform and uh, keep the valves married to the ones you did it on. That's why, I don't know if you guys noticed, in the, when I sped it up, when you know, we did this side and I put them directly up and then when I flipped it, I went backwards. So they're all the same. You know, this one ended up being this one. It was actually this one when it slipped around. That's just the way I, I like to have the angle facing toward me when I'm, when I'm spinning it. So, but that's it guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. The next one will probably, uh, be getting the head, putting the seals in the head, and popping in the uh, valve springs and all that stuff. We'll do that on the next video. Get ready to pop this head back on that motor and uh, torque everything down. Get ready to time it. So, catch you in the next one. Signing out.